Welcome to the WSO2 API Micro Gateway 310 Quick Start Guide. In this tutorial, let's see how you can expose your first API using WSO2 API Micro Gateway in Docker. First, let's go to the WSO2 API Micro Gateway stub site, which is wso2.com slash api dash management slash api dash micro gateway by clicking the download button you can download the binary distribution relevant to your operating system i have already downloaded the latest 310 toolkit zip file and extracted it now let's set the extracted toolkit to my path variable so that i can execute the micro gateway commands from any location. When I execute the micro gateway version command, it will give me the version as 310. Let's see how I can expose the publicly available Petsto service via the micro gateway. So this is the Petsto site, and I'm going to copy the open API URL from here. First, let's create the project by downloading the Petsto open API. The command is micro-gw init in which I have to specify the project name. Let's use the project name as Petsto and then I have to specify the open API definition URL using the dash a argument. Now the micro gateway project is successfully initiated and the Petsto open API definition is downloaded into the API definitions folder of the Petsto project. Let's build the project and create a Docker image to expose this service via the micro gateway. The command is micro gw space build, the project name, and the arguments needed to create the Docker image. Dash dash docker dash image is used to specify the Docker image name and the tag, while dash dash docker dash base dash image is used to specify the micro gateway latest image. So now you can see that the build process is finished and the docker image is created. Let's list down the docker images to check if the docker image has been created successfully. Let's run the image to expose the Petsto API. The command is docker space run space dash d space dash p space 9090 to expose the 9090 port and dash p 9095 to expose the 9095 https secure port and then the docker image name followed by the docker tag let's execute the docker ps command to see if the gateway is up and running as you can see the micro gateway image is up and running on Docker. Let's try to invoke the Petsto API. As it is protected by the micro gateway, you need to have a valid authentication mechanism to invoke the API. Let's invoke the get pet by an ID resource of the Petsto API. As you can see from the open API definition, because it is protected via API keys, the micro gateway will only allow you to access it with a valid API key. WSO2 micro gateway 310 is now enabled to issue API keys. Therefore, certain APIs that are exposed with API key security mechanisms can be accessed. Let's get a token from the API key endpoint of the micro gateway and set it to the console as a variable. This is the curl command to get a token from the API key endpoint. In here, let's use admin admin as the user credentials in the basic auth header in order to get the API key from the micro gateway. These users can be specified in the micro-gw.conf file. Now, the API underscore key is retrieved and set to the token variable in the console. Let's invoke the get pet by ID API resource with this API key. You need to provide the API key in the API underscore key header 
to invoke the API resource. You have successfully invoked your first API using the micro gateway on Docker. Thank you for viewing the quick start guide demo. Please join our Slack channel to be a part of our community.